Bonjour my friends, I'm Frankie and welcome to Club Foodie. Halloween is coming up this weekend and we don't have anything planned for the day. But it's still an excuse for me to make a sweet treat. In the past, I share my Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. Dolce de Leche Turtles. Bounty Bites. Crunchy Bars and others. This year, I decided to make one of my husband's favorites since his childhood. In today's episode, I'll show you how to make my puffed wheat squares. This is a delicious Canadian classic. It's an easy recipe to make and also a crowd pleaser. This sweet chocolate treat is so addictive, there's no way you can stop at having just one. So my friends, let's get cooking. In a large pot over medium heat, we'll add butter. I know it seems a lot, but it'll be just perfect. Then brown sugar, followed by corn syrup. Now, depending where you live, some of you might not have access to this ingredient. Actually, you can make it from scratch. So to know how, simply click on the top right corner of your screen. We'll also add cocoa powder. The brand I use is this one and I love it, but use what you prefer. And a little bit of ground sea salt. We'll stir to blend the ingredients and bring it to a simmer. When it starts bubbling, we'll let it cook for two to three minutes. It's important to not overcook the sugar mixture because not only will it be challenging to stir with the cereal, but it will also get very hard after setting for a couple hours. I'm sure no one wants to break a tooth. Another way to find out if the mixture is cooked is by dropping a tiny little amount of it in very cold water, and if it seizes, it's done. Before removing from the heat, we'll add pure vanilla extract and stir well. Next, without waiting, we'll add the 8 cups of puff wheat cereal and fold it in until very well coated. After that, we'll go ahead and transfer the mixture to a 9 by 13 inch baking dish greased with butter. We'll press it down gently to compact the cereal mixture and level it out to make it look nice. I always use my spatula and never had any problem with it sticking. I've used parchment paper too and it works very well. Then we'll let it sit at room temperature for a couple of hours so the mixture hardens before cutting into equal sized squares. And my friends, these are our puff wheat squares. With the right amount of sweetness, these delightful squares are a great treat to have around. Extremely easy to make, this can be a great recipe to make for Halloween or any time. I bet you can eat just one. I hope you give it a try soon and be sure to visit clubfoodie.com for ingredient a month, directions, and more info. Until next time my friends, bon appétit!